in 2017, I would like to do more challenge videos here on the channel. And one that's been catching my eye a whole lot is the ballpoint pin challenge. Now I was at Dollar Tree and I picked up this package of eight, I like how I did that totally upside down, eight colorful ballpoint pins and it promises that the body matches the color of the ink so I get black, blue, red, green, pink, purple, light blue, and orange so that's lots of color. Let's see if I can't make something half decent with these ballpoint pins, right? These markers feel very, or these pens, these ballpoint pens, they feel very light. They've got a little bit of an odor to them. I mean, they feel really light. Like, there's nothing to them. But I mean, how, how far wrong can you go with Dollar Tree ballpoint pens, right? They have a clear plastic cap that posts on the back that I just sent flying. And they all have a little bit of like wax on the tip to help prevent them from drying out. So I'm gonna go ahead and swatch them so I can get an idea of what I'm dealing with. And uh, hopefully that'll help me later on in the challenge. Cause you know, four, Lauren is four armed. And I can't guarantee the results because one, I don't normally draw in ballpoint pen. I haven't done that in years, which is fine. That's the point of this challenge. But two, I am drawing without a thumbnail and I am drawing without uh, necessarily an underdrawing. I may attempt an underdrawing, but I don't really know how well that's going to work out. And that is something that even for these sort of challenge videos, I am really loath to do. Um, I think construction and setting up your picture, even if it's just for a cartoony doodle, can really help make the most of where your your artistic skills. And um, I was definitely one of those kids who would draw one eye super big and one eye super small until I learned construction. So um, I do find it to be very helpful. So I'm going to try it with construction using the really light blue pen. And I'm just gonna to try to sketch super lightly and um, hopefully it'll work. And if it doesn't work, I may end up coming back to this challenge and giving it another shot. So I've already just like knocked in a little grid and I'm gonna draw something um, cute because that's sort of my default when I'm, oh, see? See, these are do also, these are Dollar Tree um, pens. I really, I really, when I said I'm gonna do the challenge, I really went for something that would knock me on my butt because it's kicking, let me see if I can show you guys. It, even trying to sketch lightly, it's putting down areas where it's much darker, um, so. You know, if you are watching this because you want to try the ballpoint pen challenge yourself, maybe don't use Dollar Tree supplies. I mean, I just like torturing myself, so. And I picked up some Walmart ones and I misplaced them. I can't find them now. So, um, cause I was gonna do like a side by side of the two uh, brands, I guess, of ballpoint pens because these are Promarks, which is a Dollar Tree brand. So it's not like I got lucky and found a pack of Bic or something. They are Dollar Tree. And I don't have, I might go with like pink and purple for the hair maybe. Cause I was like, I don't really have a good color for that. Okay. So I am going to switch over now to black, I think, and draw in the eyes. And I'm trying to be careful because a ballpoint pen is super prone to smearing. Who knows? Actually, I think as cheap as these are, I usually have problems with ballpoint pens putting any ink on the paper at all in that they don't want to. So I think in terms of ballpoint pens, these are actually some of the better, except for the massive spurts. And I'm doing this crouched on the floor in case you guys can't see that carpet. 
crouched on the floor, out of town. So, I mean, when I when I say I'm gonna challenge myself, I really pick as many bad scenarios as I possibly can. Which, when the challenge doesn't go quite well, it makes it very difficult to actually isolate how I failed, because it could be any number of things. I did so many things differently. Just sketch that in with red to begin with instead of black. That wouldn't have looked half bad. I'll definitely have to revisit this challenge, maybe even with these pins in a different drawing scenario. Because while I say I haven't drawn with uh, ballpoint pins in several years, I mean, I'm sure. I've doodled with them, everybody's doodled with them. At the bank or at the DMV. So it sort of brings up those really relaxing feeling, feelings of just like doodling. Definitely did it enough in class. But what's kind of weird is like, I could definitely see somebody kind of mastering these particular pins and enjoying them as like sort of their own standalone supply. I mean, they're a buck and they came in eight colors, so can't really go wrong there. Since black is sometimes the sort of color that like intermixes with what you're putting down, I'm saving that for last. I'm also pretty sure that the point of this challenge is to like try and not be <laughs> sloppy and sketchy, but I'm also sort of figuring out how these pins handle. So I may end up, like I said, coming back and doing another ballpoint pin challenge later on. But you guys are seriously seeing me use these for the first time. I did swatch them the other night, but this video has documented pretty much all times I have used these ballpoint pins. Plus, the underdrawing of blue does make it harder to, um, the color will go down on top of it, no problem, which was something that I was worried about. I was worried that um, I wouldn't, once I'd put down the blue ballpoint, I wouldn't be able to draw on top of it. Because that's happened with certain brands, like Bic is really bad about that, or it used to be. Maybe it's not anymore, but, uh, so I didn't want to count on, uh, on having to color co cover large spaces. But these seem to handle that a lot better than, like I said, the Bix that I've used in the past. So um, if I do this challenge again, I will probably, I don't know. I, I also, um, so when I was younger, I used to ink using ink using ballpoint pens over my comic pages and I sketched in pencil and sometimes it would go over the pencil no problem and then sometimes it just really didn't want to go over. So um, that is another thing I could consider or even working on like a light box. I mean, I don't, I don't know if people consider that cheating or what. Um, but to me, it's all about like figuring out the parameters of an art supply or a potential art supply and making it work for you. And figuring out the most successful way to use something. So 
you know, what other people might be like, well, that's not the point, or that's kind of really stretching it, or that's cheating. To me, it's like, that's figuring out how these materials are, are how you, what else you can do with these materials, how you can make them work for you and be the most successful using these as possible. And I know there's also probably people who are like, well, Beck, if you really care about doing that successfully, why are you using those materials? <laughs> you know, but for me, it's, it's fun to play around with, uh, kind of subpar material materials people wouldn't necessarily, uh, think of or grab for unless it's like as a punishment. So, I mean, um, some of you guys might remember the Crayola super tip tutorials I did in December. I did like 10 of them, maybe nine. I, I'm actually still working on them because I'm still in that town, but I know that this is not gonna get edited until like January at best. I'm gonna add some black in to add some shadow because that purple is pretty dark. And also, you know, if there's something that I can do to encourage you guys to draw, not feel like you have to go to the art supply store right away in order to be successful, but just start drawing. I'm gonna try and do that. And uh, like I said, these are from Dollar Tree. They're actually not that bad. You get eight of them for a buck. And there's no duplicate colors in that set. So they could be really fun to doodle in class with. You know, cause it's like not something super obvious if you pull it out in the middle of English or whatever. Um, math, algebra two, maybe. Now nah, y'all should pay attention in class. If you are still in high school, you should pay attention in class because as an artist, you're gonna have to be twice as smart as everybody thinks you are um, just to scrape by. So don't, don't be like, well, I'll never use this because with the exception of Algebra 2, I use a lot of the stuff we went over back then. And it's just important to know because people are going to assume you went into art because you weren't smart enough to do other things. And that's wrong. And I think that's wrong. But you need to be forearmed to show them that you went into art because you love it. So. These are, like I said, these are fun to noodle and doodle around with. So they really would make pretty good little covert art supplies. So like, uh, let's say you're an office manager, <laughs> office manager who's clearly not doing their work because they're drawing, but you know, you could very easily justify having these at your desk. Like who's gonna, who's gonna give a second gla glance to some Dollar Tree? Uh, some Dollar Tree ballpoint pens like nobody and if somebody absconces them if somebody steals them just pop on down to Dollar Tree again spend another book get yourself a soft drink while you're there I guess maybe grab some post-it notes or some fake post-it notes because they don't sell post-it notes they sell jot jot brand post-it notes and do some post-it note doodles because that's like a thing that people enjoy all right let's give this pretty girl a tattoo because I don't normally draw people with tattoos, so why not? And give her a flower, because if I ever got one, I would want a rose. And I'm going to do it in shades of blue. Sort of like if it was like a Wedgware or a Wedgwood rose. Which was is a type of china still. With like these specific kinds of patterns on them in this specific kind of blue. I don't know. Too scared to get a real tattoo, uh, mostly because I don't handle needles very well. But I think about it sometimes. Like I would get like a really big shoujo cabbage rose on my right shoulder, the way chefs um, get their specialty sometimes tattooed on their forearms. 
I've been pretty solid on that being what I want for a few years now, um, if I ever had the courage to do it. Because my comics are for girls for the most part. At least they have female main characters, so the shoujo rose is sort of like my commitment to trying to make quality education for girls and women and people who enjoy that sort of content. Oh, sorry. Yeah, these are definitely fun to doodle with, um, and at least for right now, they put down a pretty steady amount of ink, and I haven't tried smearing them. Those ball points are pretty smear-tastic. I'm sure these are as well, because most, like I said, most, most are. All right, so I think that about sums up my first ever ballpoint pin challenge. And it was definitely more like a doodle, but that was the speed that I felt comfortable with doing. And when you're doing art, especially if you're doing art for pleasure, you should really focus on, um, yeah, you should push yourself and try new things, but try to do it at a pace that is comfortable to you because you can burn yourself out. So this was something that I felt comfortable doing and so I'm not displeased with the results. It's cute, it's not perfect. I'll do another, whoops, I'll do another one and the next one will look different and maybe I'll try some new things with that one. But, you know, for what it was, I had a good time. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you liked how these pins looked, if you liked how they handled, if you thought, hey, that looks like fun, you can head on over to Dollar Tree and pick up some Pro Marks ballpoint pins. Uh, it's a buck for eight, so you can't really get better than that, in my opinion, especially if it's just, you know, for some casual doodling, for having some fun. Uh, I'm Becca Hilburn. Thank you guys so much for watching this challenge video. I hope I inspired you. I hope I encouraged you. And I hope if you aren't drawing yet, you will start drawing soon. So thank you guys so much for watching. Bye!